everyone and welcome back to Zudesia! We are here in the Garden of Eden, just having a good little morning chat with Nightlock and checking on all of our beautiful flowers up here as we get ready for a very special Saturday special! We are here spending some quality time in the zoo, kind of tidying up things and oh my gosh, I have some exciting additions to show you guys! I'm so excited! Oh, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it! We have a couple new interns to meet today and we have a few new trees to see, it's gonna be fantastic! Isn't it nice? Nightlock. And Nightlock, I actually think, uh, I think he likes it up here. I think he is now going to be the new Garden of Eden cat. Because he seems to really enjoy hanging out up here in our beautiful Garden of Eden. You gotta love it. I love it. I love that we finally found somewhere to get more of these beautiful flowers from. We should probably go get some so I can add, add in to like the little patches where I don't have any flowers because they wouldn't go down. Oh! And some essence berries are ready to harvest. That's always a good sign. But yes, we do have a couple new interns to meet today. I reached it. Good, 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 good. Yay, I picked them without getting pricked. Wonderful. But we do have a couple awesome new interns to meet and then just a lot of updates going on, including a new tree in the memorial garden. Oh, and some new nymphsias. So we'll go look at our new nymphsias to represent our growing community too. So, oh, so much to do. Oh my goodness. And then, oh, Yes, I need to show you guys the cotton fields and I need to I need to plant this like peppercorn sapling and I need to show you guys the amazing additions that have been happening over in the cave exhibit. And at the end of today's Saturday special, we need to go and open those mystery safari nets. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day, turnip head. A busy day indeed. I love how that little snail is still there. It's just chilling. It's just hanging out on that block. Just like, yeah, I'm being a snail. What of it? So I, I think he's pretty cool. But let's check on our bees while we run down. Thank you so much, madame. Oop. Oh, look at that. And she gave us some fresh honey. Good morning to you too, wonderful bees. So let's come on down and see what's going on. Oh, I'm so happy to be in my garden. Turnip head, how are you? I hope you're doing well today. I'm going to collect your children. Oh my gosh. I can only collect so many more of your children, turnip head, because our ax is about to break. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, and have our, I think our coffee beans have grown, you guys. Oh my gosh. I've never had the coffee beans before. This is exciting. Have they grown? They did grow. Oh my goodness. I think there's several like different people in the Village of Light who really enjoy coffee. So we might start off the morning making a fine cup of roasted coffee. Ooh, what's this? And zucchinis. What a wonderful garden harvest. What an exciting way to start our morning. Oh, what are you doing? It's some barley. Pretty sure this is barley. No, it's rye. <laughs> Not barley at all. Oh my goodness, but it's so wonderful. I just, I love coming and spending time in the zoo. There's so much to do. I hear some of you guys sing along. It's like a sing along. So much to do in the zoo. So much to do in the zoo. Oh, don't meow at me, you kitty kitties. Oh, and I forgot, I want to build a closet. I want to build a closet. I'm so excited. There's so much to share with you guys. Ah, Artemis, the door wasn't working, Artemis. That was embarrassing. All right, so let's see. Well, I know we're going to take these pumpkins and we're going to turn them immediately into pumpkin seeds and then stick the pumpkin seeds straight into the furnace and transfer these pumpkin seeds into our growing pile. And yes, I am going to cut down how much the wonderful Ethan pays us for the pumpkin seeds we take to him by like a third or two thirds. So he, instead of giving us six coins per pumpkin seed, he'll give us maybe two. Cause I didn't realize how easy it is. Like pumpkin seeds are apparently one of the easiest things we can get. So we're gonna make sure it's nice and fair. We'll deal with that. Also, I'm gonna just, um, Man, talk about stuffing your mouth full, but I, I, you know, I'm just, don't judge me, Artemis. Maybe it tastes like Creeper, but maybe I like the feeling of power it gives me. <laughs> but all right, so thank you so much to you guys who said, Siri, don't forget you have string. And apparently I've got string hiding in a few places. I have string hiding in here. So we have string hiding in this chest along with some gunpowder and sugar. Now, these are for making more puppy treats with. We need wheat to make more puppy treats so we can train pine up. So we still, but we need string, but this can stay here for emergencies. This will be like our emergency string stash. And thank you guys who told me that Dr. Nami has some string in his marine research laboratory. So we'll go get that from him too. All right, hang on. 
just because it's like the first first Saturday. It's like Saturday chores, you know. You have to come out here, harvest up all the wheat, just kind of take care of the garden. I might take care of you goats today too. And I know you guys are so split. I have people who are like, why have you not contained those goats yet? And then people who are like, no, no, don't do it. You don't need the resources. But you know what, guys? Those goats crossed the line. They ate one of my mystery safari nuts. Do you realize they like cannibalize some sort of poor creature? So we are going to be containing the goats, possibly today. It's, it's going to happen. I'm sorry. And we're going to put these seeds in here because we're trying to get, get a bit of a... In fact, I think... Oh, this could be our overflow for all these wax combs. We can put like our wheat products in here for now. I like it. Pardon me, Artemis. Yeah, let's get these seeds and then these wheat. And this will be where we store like our wheat products. And some of the overflow, come on Rye, stop being stubborn. And some of the overflow from all of the wax combs that we get. Um, because eventually we're going to set up an automatic planter and farming system in the meadow of horses. But we'll have to be out there for it to run. So we'll have to like AFK out there, actually be there for it to run so it won't be cheaty. Alright, and then let's see, we'll stick our honeycombs. We'll just put them, see what I mean? Like look at all these extra extra wax combs and extra wax we have <laughs> actually maybe we need a chest just for that oh my gosh there's so much of it um we'll just put the wax combs like right here there we go and i'm gonna put the honeycombs away and we're gonna get the honey out and the beeswax out and the honey actually i think i'll start storing in the spice cabinet do we have like a sugar? I'm pretty sure we started. Yeah, actually we have a sweets cabinet. So I'll put it in the sweets cabinet. I was like, I'm pretty sure I have a sweets cabinet somewhere. All right, let's put the ginger away and let's get that coffee brewing while we move stuff around. So what do we do with coffee beans? Let's see. You can make espresso by putting three coffee beans and sugar together. You can make mocha ice cream by putting coffee beans and ice cream and cocoa powder together. Or you can smelt it into a nice, hearty, light meal cup of coffee. Well, I'm not a coffee drinker myself, but, uh, oh my goodness, look at this. I'm going to have to go get more wood. This is our wood fire, wood furnace. Because, you know, it's the role play factor of it. You want to have wood to cook your food in. But then we also have coal over here, so... Hmm, I'm pretty sure these these are kind of like very charred pumpkin seeds. They probably have a little bit of a coal aftertaste. So we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Um, so I need to go get more wood. We'll finish smelting those pumpkin seeds later. And let's go get some sort of fun... Okay, and then normal pumpkin seeds for cooking. Uh, right in here, that's where they go. There we go. Oh, and look at all this beeswax. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do with all this? I really need to come up with a use for this future NPC who can trade <laughs> for all this excess beeswax. Oh my goodness. And yes, in case you guys don't know, Kath and Lubot have had a very special guest arrive over at the zoo and our, their, their dinosaur research center. A certain special guest that uh, is on the Time Shot server. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I hope to be working with him in the future too, but I I just I can't get over there right now. It's, it's complicated. I just, I can't snag over there right now, but if you guys want to go see Poet hang out with Kath and Lubot, you guys need to go check out what they're doing because it's so exciting. Apparently we're having more meteor portal issues Issues. So really, as cool as it is as poets in our world, I'm a little bit concerned about the meteors again. I have a feeling they're starting to fall again and open portals to mysterious new places. So that could be a bad thing. That could be a very bad thing indeed. We got to keep an eye on that. Oh, gracious. Oh, and then yesterday on market day, we got some starfish. So I think we might get our snorkeling gear out later and add the starfish to this tank. I think that would be awesome. So we'll possibly go do that later. Why am I down here? Don't judge me. I heard that snort of laughter, Professor Cowplant. Um, for wood. I'm down here for wood. But while we're down here... We've got the string kind of set up, and you guys can see I've got a lot of cotton, and I will show you our cotton plantation in just a minute. And the reason it's so important that we get so much string is so we can make lots and lots of reusable safari nuts, because those things are vital for what we do. 
So as you see, oh, and actually, look, you guys. I didn't even think about this. I can make them and just throw them in this chest, and then I can just open the chest when I need them. Eureka! Eureka, little glow worm. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, so we're going to come over to this crafting table, and we have a lot of cotton. We have a stack and a half of cotton, but it takes three cotton to make two string. So it's not quite like the most balanced, but it's very helpful because look at that. Stack and a half of cotton is almost a stack of string. So it's much better than nothing and grinding things. And yes, I know there's grinders in like the Mine Factory Reloaded um, mod that we have, but I don't like the idea. I know, I know, it seems kind of weird. I, I, I want to give the spiders a fair chance. If I'm going to have to go and kill them for their string, I want to give the spiders a fair chance. So I don't want to, I don't want to just stick them in a machine and like grind them to death. I want them to have a shot, you know? I want them to go, no, I don't want to be eaten. I don't want to be ground up just for my string. So they could they could fight me fair and square. Um, and, and that's good. Or I can just grow my own cotton like we are. So that's why I don't want to use the grinding, as weird as that sounds. So there we go. We've turned our cotton into string. And we have made a bunch of single-use safari nets, which we will use at the end of today when we look into the mystery safari nets. Always very exciting. All right, let's get some wood to take upstairs. I think oak wood, like straight up wood, burns better than planks. So we're just gonna like get some lumber and take it upstairs and stick it in our kitchen so we can roast that coffee. It's not even morning anymore. That's how long we've been, we've been dilly-dallying. But there's always a lot to do, especially when the morning first starts. Also, we have peanuts. What can we do with peanuts? Hmm. We can make peanut butter by putting it in the juicer. I want to make peanut butter. That sounds really cool. All right, let's come over here. And then we're going to make some peanut butter. Oh, we should put it on the shelf. That would be awesome. Wash, 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 wash. Like up here, see? I would consider peanut butter a staple. Yay, we have peanut butter. All right, what else do we have? Raw pork chops, which are actually presents from Junior and JJ. And zucchini and cucumber and garlic and onions. So that sounds like it can make a good soup, but I'm gonna put it all away for now. And eventually we're gonna have to get in here and reorganize this place. All right, and what kind of food do I have? Oh, I knew I had some vegetable soup. Mango jelly, ooh, strawberry smoothies. Never mind, vegetable soup. You've been upped by strawberry smoothies. Mmm, that's delicious, Artemis. I, I wish I could put like a little bowl of milk out for you or something, Artemis. You're so sweet. Who's a good kitty? Yeah, you're a good kitty. Good girl. Oh, she's so sweet. All right, so we've got some fresh coffee brewing for future villagers to enjoy. Uh, we'll go ahead and get more of the pumpkin seeds roasting so we can train them to Ethan next market day and then oh yeah we've got to put the snake away i've got to plant those cotton seeds so i will show you guys one of the new trees in the back garden and we will go collect the honey from our memorial garden bees and look at our new nymphsias oh my goodness Bella! <laughs> you decided to sit in the window huh Oh, that's so cute. You're being so cute, Bella. So Bella has apparently decided she's going to sit in the window, which is awesome. And Major Calhoun is visiting with her daughter. So I think that's pretty cool. And Nightlock is out here just hanging out, getting some fresh air under the beautiful moon. You're a good cat, Nightlock. All right, so let's go take a quick nap. Quick snooze. I also want to put my coin purse away. I'm just going to put my coin purse like in here. So it's easy to grab. You know when you like hang your, your backpack by the front door? That's what that's like. Look at how awesome our little music disc station is. I love it. All right, let's climb into bed. Oh, but I love our zoo, guys. I can't wait till we can bring people like Poet and all of our other friends. I have people lined up for when I finally get everything working so we can share the amazingness that is our zoo with them. All right, let's come out here. There we go. Because we're an educational facility, Nate, look. The overall goal is to teach people about different animals, such as felines, such as yourself. You're strict carnivores. Did you know that, Nightlock? You are a strict carnivore. That means you eat the meat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's not that impressed. Also moths. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would enjoy chewing on a moth or two. I, maybe that's why he's out here. Nightlock is out here so that he can chase moths. Aw, that makes so much sense now. All right. 
Nom, 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 nom. Maybe by the time this is over, I'll be able to enchant another book. What? Did you hear that squeak, squeak? I heard that squeak, squeak. Let's get a safari net out. I heard the squeak, squeak of a rat. Is there a rat in my garden? That is like against all rules. No rats in my garden. Oh, he got quieter. Okay, so he's not in my garden. Cute little garden. I We need to name these garden slugs. But where'd the other one go? <gasps> Did the rat eat my garden slug? Look, I know I complain about them eating the pumpkins, but honestly, I really like the little guy. Hmm. Is he in my memorial garden, this rat? Whoops. That's a leaf. All right, who knows? We'll keep our ears out because, oh, I caught more rats. I caught more rats. So we have lots of bamboo rats to add. I'm excited. We're going to have a whole bunch of bamboo rats down in our exhibits. All right, but let me show you guys the new tree. So this is one of our beautiful new trees, and it's, it's a Japanese maple with some very fancy lamps hanging in it made out of glass panes. But beautiful fancy lamps, and it's got a beautiful waterfall. I really like this little waterfall and this pool, and it's got lots of ivy and lots of the red gladioli just to kind of accent it. It's also got a lot of bamboo bushes, so bamboo leaf bushes. But this is a tree planted by Victor, and this is our warmth of friendship tree planted by Victor. So thank you so much Victor it's he is a really great guy he's down in comments being nice and supportive and helpful to everyone in our community all the time and I can't tell you how much that means because our community is amazing and it's getting bigger and sometimes there's not enough Siri to go around so when you guys can support each other and befriend each other and help each other it just takes so much pressure off so thank you thank you thank you I, I love it and that's why it's in the memorial garden because it's kind of like one of the things at the heart of the memorial garden because it reminds me that no matter what we're doing no matter how big we become this is about sharing something together this isn't about just entertainment this isn't just about learning about animals it's about sharing something together that's why our world is built the way it is and i love it i love it i love sharing it with you guys it's so amazing is that a chicken it is a chicken oh wow he's like a sentinel chicken I like him. I kind of want to smack a name tag on him that says Sentinel Chicken. Look at him. He looks so serious. He looks so serious and solemn. Wow. Oh my gosh, there's another one. <laughs> there's Cliff Chickens. <laughs> they look so serious. They're just sitting there like very, very solemnly glancing at each other. That's funny. I wonder if we should get them down. I don't know. They look, they look pretty serious right now. We'll, we'll leave them be for now. All right. Oh. And then why don't we, while we're over here, aha! So let's get the honey and the wax combs. My goodness gracious, so many wax combs. Maybe we'll find someone we can trade, like, straight to an item. And then we'll get the nutmeg. See, we're talking about friendship and how this world is built around friendship and community. And here we are, plucking the nutmegs off of the nutmeg tree of friendship given to me by Calf. Wonderful. It's almost time to plant another tree in our episode milestone area. Very fun. All right, and then we have more Nymphsias. So, you guys, we have added more Nymphsias. We now have, we now have, I want to get the number right so I don't, so I don't flub it. I'm pretty sure it is now, oops, 121 flowers. So that is for all 12,100, almost 12,200 members of our community, which, as I was saying, means those are people to share friendship with. It's not competition. It's not fighting. It's everybody who's here is usually here because they're fascinated with the natural world and with animals, and that means we all have something to share. So that's what I love about this place. You guys are so awesome. Wiping away a happy tear. Oh, you guys are just so cool. But I added more Nymphsias over here. So these are our newest Nymphsias. This is the brand newest one, this little purple one right here very pretty and we're spreading over into this path I mean look at that I figured we'd kind of fill this out a little bit and then maybe work over here and then we'll start filling out like more of this area over here and then maybe even spread over here we're gonna have to see how big we get and it's not really about how big we are as it is the reason I chose the Nymphsias as I have mentioned to you guys before is because each one of these little flower buds represents one of you one of you and when I come over here I want to look at this and fill like, like those solemn chickens over there. I want to feel solemn and serious as I contemplate how amazing that is. So that's why you guys are here. Also, there's some delicious oranges. Oh my gosh, hang on. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm walking on top of some of you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're okay. <laughs> I'm going to climb up here because these oranges just look too delicious to pass up. Oh my gosh. 
What can I do with these oranges, actually? I'm kind of in the mood to cook the oranges into something yummy. No, not fruit salad. I want something... <gasps> Orange juice. I love orange juice. Oh my gosh. In real life, I am a orange juice. Oh my gosh. And orange smoothies. The best thing I had on my trip to Ocracoke Island with my parents, my friends, was orange smoothies. And that is what actually inspired the little, um, the little fruit stand that we have over on the prehistoric pathway was this itty bitty little shop that like had bike rentals and the most delicious fresh squeezed orange smoothies I've ever had in my life. Maybe we'll make, oh, my mouth is watering. We might make some orange smoothies later. But first things first, I've got more to show you guys. There's a lot going on and I've done so many upgrades. I've been very busy this week. All right, so we've got all of our, all of our honeybees. I think I forgot to get the, the honey from the Nymphsia bee. Pardon me, pardon me, Nymphsia bee, pardon me. Yep, I did, all right. Thank you very much, darling. And I'm gonna show you guys the cotton fields. I think I showed you pretty sure I showed you, think I showed you the cotton fields, but I'm not 100% certain. So we're going to pop over there, then I'll grab our dogs, and we will head over, and I will introduce you to some of the new areas. Alright, so let's pop up here. As you can see, there is now a little pathway, so you can step off of the way to the plant sorting station. This place really should have a sign, now that I think about it. Do I have any signs? Hmm, not in here, not in here, uh, not in there, but there's moss slugger. I'm going to get moss slugger out before I forget I put moss slugger in there. All right, and then there's a little path, a nice little elevated path, so you can walk right up. And look, it's the beginning of our cotton fields, and there's cotton ready to pick. Wonderful. And you won't believe who decided he wanted to come and sit over here. Like, I was just minding my own business, kind of watching the rabbits, and I was just watching the cotton grow because I really needed some string. And then I looked down at my feet, and who's there? This guy right over here, Captain Kaz, he was just hanging out by my feet. So he's like surveying the cotton fields and the bunnies right now. And that's fine. If the cats want to move around and just kind of have some fun exploring for a while, totally fine by me. Because I heard meowing and I thought it was Agent Glacier, Special Agent Glacier, down in the memorial, uh, the like memorial, um, what should I call this? Memorial tomb? It's kind of solemn because I have a memorial to my, my passed away grandfather in there. Um, uh, uh, vault is also not the word I want. <laughs> memorial room. Let's just go with memorial room. And for those of you guys who haven't seen it, it's actually very pretty. It has these vines that hang in front of it and these beautiful blocks. And you come down in. And this is where we have like the memorials to the animals who have passed away. Uh, and we felt they were significant players enough to add in. And so now you have the little little tombs. So the original Bob the Third and his chicken can be found right in here. So you can find all of their stuff in here. You don't have to dig their grave up anymore to read their little memorial book that they have. Um, and whenever that happens, if you guys think someone has passed away we haven't properly given tribute to, let me know and I'll add them in here. But I also had these little cattails dedicated to my grandpa. I feel like I should put a little sign. Um, cause he passed away back in February, so almost a year ago. And making these stories for you guys is what really helped get me through that. But Special Agent Glacier is down here in this room, kind of watching after everything and everybody and just making sure it all goes well. And I think it is. I think it is. It's very pretty. I really like it. All right, we're going to pop up here, back to our cotton fields. Oh, yeah, and this is the little area where I have uh, date items for Darling and I. I need to add some new things. He gave me an acorn. I love acorns. <laughs> it's, it's, my little, it's my little special acorn because it's for my darling. All right, so... These are now our cotton fields, and I'm really happy with how they're doing. And if we ever have extra bone meal and we're desperately in need for string, you can whack these guys with a bone meal piece. I think I used up all my bone meal doing experiments. Oh, look, I've got some. We'll put, we'll put a little bone meal down. But you can whack these guys with a bone meal, and boom! Boom! They're ready to pick. Just like that. Are you here because you want to play with the cotton balls, Captain Kaz? You're a silly kitty. But I've been thinking about making, like, another path. Oh, look, there's some wild cotton growing over here. That's awesome. I've been thinking about making um, another path that goes from the cotton fields over there to my house right over here. Um, like, so I can just climb up my porch. 
<laughs> and get in my house and then pop out and go this way if I wanted to. So I think I might do that because it would make getting to the cotton fields a lot easier and it would be fun to have another entrance to get to my home. Because as you can see, it can get a little bit wonky donkey. There we go. Oh, and then I'm starting to plant a lot of the various plants that we can have in our world in little gardens around the zoo. See, there's been a lot of updates since you guys were last year. Trust me. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's a peak. But I'm starting to plant uh, little gardens all throughout the world uh, or all throughout our zoo that are functional so that we can harvest things to sell on market day. And this type of strawberry are one of the strawberries that people really want in the village. So I started a little strawberry garden here and it's going to be really pretty. It isn't going to be just like a square with some crops in it. We're going to make I really I've been thinking about this actually. I want to put like a arched oak log that comes down and it has appetites on it and it has vines growing down it and I want to put more azaleas uh, all over the place and mention how this is like the azalea garden and I kind of want like some sort of other little garden thing so we're gonna start building gardens throughout the zoo that are decorative and that are very pretty but they also serve purposes because then whenever we run by and we're like oh good the strawberries are ready to harvest boom 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 strawberries harvested and in fact do i have a little hoe out by any chance no but i've got this one so let's go ahead and one two three four five six seven eight perfect and now i can fill this out but yeah it probably won't keep the square shape because you guys know how much i don't like squares i don't like squares mr pig what are you doing here hmm are you pigment fern i feel like i need i hang on I feel like I need to like whack him with my my ancient sword. Also, I need to light that area up. It keeps spawning weird things. Lily, tape, pine, puppies. This is my blue puppies. We're gonna go on an adventure in just a second, pup pups. But first, I need to. Whoops. What am I doing? I need to pop inside my bed. I just I want it to be day while we're hanging out, everybody. So. Eh. Oh no! Oh no! I lost my footing. Ah, ah. That's why we put vines up so that I don't fall and plummet to my my death and hurt my toesies or something like that. All right. There. I was like, oh, you know what else we need to do? Put freaking carpenters. Uh, what are they called again? No, this bothers me. Hang on. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot what they're called. Pressure plates! <laughs> Carpenter's pressure plates uh, in front of our doors. Oh, that's just so annoying. There we go. And snuggle into our little blankets. Oh, man, just catching you guys up on everything that's been going on is keeping us so busy. Oh, my goodness. All right. And then we're going to turn in here. Hello, Nightlock. I really think he's enjoying his new location. Aren't you, Nightlock? Yes, he is. All right, so let me put those away, and then let's go grab the puppies, and we're actually going to head out. Look at all my green snails. I love it. We're going to head over to the, well, we'll check on the pleosaurs, too. All right, you ready, guys? Let's go. Nothing weird spawning out of our, our fairy ring for once like this. I can't believe we got, um, of all things... We ended up with like a big golem just popping out of our fairy circle. That surprised me. Oh my gosh. There's so much fruit ready to harvest. I gotta stop. I gotta stop, but I love the fruit.
We Let's swim out to the other one, which is the one that's not tame to me, I believe. Rideable. Okay, a little hungry. Hang on, little one. I think you're full now. Yep, and it's full. Alright, so they really don't need a lot of fish, so that might be a lot easier to take care of them than I was afraid it would be. So, that's a relief. But let's go meet one of our newest interns, one of two interns, and another tree hanging out inside Fern Grotto. Come on, pup pups. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I'm excited. Market days are really letting us spend a lot more time with our interns, too, which is wonderful. Do do do. The zoo is growing, growing. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get rid of this chest. I might do that today, because today was supposed to be a day where I spent a lot of time, like, cleaning up the zoo and tending to it. So we just might tend to some of that. Oh, here's the first thing. So this, as odd as it may look, is a custom Madagascar palm. Because the Madagascar palms are, in fact, I think I have one right through here. I still have, you know what? Mm -mm. This is this is how this axe is going to die. Because I'm going to knock this puppy down. Mm-hmm. It's coming down. It's coming down. No more. No more. You've been here too long, my friend. I need you to go away now. This is from when we voted on uh, what kind of cool island, like what everyone's favorite fruit was. And that needed to be picked up for quite a while now. Oh my goodness, now I've got so much stuff. All right, let's put these all away. Get in here. There we go. Get out of here, fruit. Get out of here, kelp and eggs. But yeah, that's better. But yeah, Madagascar palm is normally... Is there one over there? I'm looking while I'm punching leaves. Actually, I don't think there is a Madagascar palm over there, which would be a little bit... No, I'm, I'm pretty sure I put Madagascar palms at least in the dodo exhibit. So we might have to go visit Sarah and the dodos in just a second. As soon as I... I have to clean this up. I'm sorry, it has been here too darn long. Ooh, yay, jungle sapling. Rare jungle saplings. Oh, I love this area. The prehistoric parkway is probably one of my favorite parts of our wonderful zoo thus far. What's your favorite part of the zoo so far? I know it really depends on what everyone's favorite animals are. Yay, we have two jungle saplings. <gasps> Three, four. <gasps> what a happy day. Jungle saplings are really hard to get. I've knocked down trees as big as this and not gotten any jungle saplings. All right, where the heck is a Madagascar palm tree? Because I have to show you guys what they look like tiny. Because our awesome new intern said, hey, yeah, I'll, I'll have a Madagascar palm tree. Here it is! This is a normal-sized Madagascar palm tree from Plant Mega Pack. And I looked at it, and I was like, that's not, like, a custom tree. Like, that's an epic custom tree, but you know what I mean? Like, this is, this is a, a dodo fruit tree. But, like, I looked at it, and I was like, I need to make a proper tree. And thank you, dodo. A proper tree for our interns. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Really? That's what I thought of that. Well, I'm glad we took care of that wild boar. Clearly he would have attacked our dodos eventually. Careful for your pockets. Our dodos are very friendly and they love treats, so they will stick their huge beaks straight into your pockets to see if you're hiding anything. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. Good to know. I hear you're going to dye your hair into a rainbow coloring pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Let's see... So we're going to come down here. I just went, oh, hello, little crab crab. You are one of the crustaceans that our dodos may consume pretty soon. You know what? And I'm just going to knock down this bamboo. We'll take it to Ethan. Ethan? No, Jake, Jacob. We'll take it to Jacob on our way over to the bat caves in just a little bit. Uh, ta -da, ta -da. Man, you guys, there is so much to do all the time. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I have to catch you up with a million cool things. It's so awesome. All right, there we go. Helped, helped to prune the area. Only found four dodo eggs. I need some refreshing... Mm, look at this beautiful tree. I love this tree. Oh, see, you guys, have, you guys have done such cool things, Potato King. Oh, look, 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 look. More dodo eggs. Let's go hatch these. Oh, you guys were all hiding them back here. See, Nani. Like, some days they want to have names, and some days they don't. It's so interesting. If you guys have more dodo names, let me know in the comments below, though, and I will add them in. All right, let's get the big adult dodos out of here. You guys aren't babies anymore. You don't need to stay in the baby nursery. Come on. 
That's right. You're a big dodo now. You can come out here. Go hang out with Sarah. Mm-hmm. There you go. This is for baby dodos, so they stay nice and safe and don't drown. Any baby dodos hiding in these eggs? Not a single one. What a pity. But we managed to check on the dodos, make sure everybody's okay. You saw what a normal Madagascar palm tree looks like. And now I'm going to show you the custom Madagascar palm tree and introduce you to our intern. Because like I said, it's been busy. It's been so busy. Also, we need to build a really awesome like lava crystal tunnel right there. Still on the list. Still on the list. We, all, we are also going to be visiting the safari zone pretty soon. I'll come back to empty that chest if we've got extra time. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I was on autopilot. Okay. This is the custom Madagascar palm, but I tried really hard to make it look somewhat like a Madagascar palm tree. I'm pretty happy with how it came out, and it is planted, if I can clear these ferns away, the Madagascar palm tree planted by Rap. A raptor Farian. So, Raptor Farian is actually right over here. Everybody, meet Keeper Raptor Farian, and he actually made his own skin, and I was so impressed with this. Look at that! Look at that! He's got a little raptor on the back, and he is actually going to be a raptor specialist. But we don't even have any raptors yet, so he is temporarily, temporarily assigned to watching over the terror birds, and he's kind of making sure that these two are okay because Laney and Laney's baby. He can't see because of the seam. There we go. Laney and Laney's baby are feeling a little bit crowded. Ooh, they laid an egg. There we go. Are feeling a... Oops, I threw the egg into the abyss. Who knows? Who knows? Whoops. What the heck? Okay, I'm just gonna... There we go. Back up. Okay. So this is Keeper Raptifarian. He is temporarily watching over Laney and her baby, who are going to be getting a new exhibit pretty soon, because this, this is just too small for a couple terror birds. And he's really cool. He'll tell you a lot about the different raptors. He'll tell you about his favorite raptor, the Terrible Claw. The Terrible Claw. And he's going to eventually be moved to a really awesome raptor exhibit. So he's our motivation to get those raptors up and going. If you guys want to see raptors, let me know. It helps me figure out what to angle ourselves towards doing. Because there's so much to do in the zoo. So much to do in the zoo. Oh my goodness, but he does have some trades. He actually trades raw quagga meat, uh, and he'll give you good coins for it because I know I don't have the heart to kill my quaggas. And he'll do that because that is actually what the terror birds eat. Not all of them. There's one herbivorous terror bird out of the ones you can get from the fossils in archaeology mod, but most of them, including the ones we have right here, Lainey and her baby. Also, you can get ferns from him, and you can trade ferns to him. Um, and you can get the Kelican egg, you can turn it into him if you don't want to keep it and get a big emerald coin. And if you get enough emerald coins, you can get a die. Okay, I'm going to mess this up. Dinocuous. Dinocuous? Oh my gosh, that's the terrible claw raptor. And I would just call it the raptor. The raptor with the claw. <laughs> but I know I've totally messed that up. And you guys can let me know how it's pronounced in the comments. I will try to fix it. I know I suck at pronouncing things, especially prehistoric names. And he also gives you awesome fragrant ferns. Just because he's kind of stuck in the fern grotto. Oh, wow. That's pretty, though. Wow. Now that is lovely. But he's stuck in here, so he's kind of keeping himself occupied with ferns. Um... Uh, I'm just ter I'm just temporarily watching over the terror birds. I'm actually a specialist in the Dianochus, and we'll be getting in the we'll be getting in the zoo sooner or later. I can't wait for them to arrive. So yeah, he will talk quite a bit if you stay in the area about all sorts of raptor facts, and he'll also talk a bit about the terror birds because he's he's kind of temporarily watching them until we move on. Oh, you guys are getting hungry. I'll feed you in just a second. And then he also takes fish lettuce wraps, applesauce, and seaweed. And he will also give you a dinopedia, or he'll give you some of the leaves or the logs from these very rare palm trees in case you happen to need those for some reason. So very cool, and I love his awesome Madagascar palm tree. It was just cool enough that I felt putting it in the fern grotto was appropriate. All right, hang on, Eliante. I know I had some, uh, let's see. All right, let's see. We've got kangaroo and wild rice. Easy there, just a bit longer in this exhibit, and then we'll move you to your new home. Thank you, Keeper Raptifarian! And thank you so much to Raptifarian for joining our zoo as an intern. This place is just coming to life. Pine, come here, baby. There you go. Some kangaroo and wild rice for you. I'm going to put on my armor because I think I heard the squeak squeak of some little animals. 
Oh, that's not the squeak squeak of any uh, little animal. Oh. I kind of want to catch him. Okay, this is probably Nutter Butters. This is Nutter Butters. This is Nutter Butters. Ouch. Tate, don't. Ouch. Everybody. Everybody into the water. Oh, no, there's a, there's a skeleton. Oh. Tate, did you get in the water? Oh, Lily and Tate took him out? They're like, nuh uh, no skeletons. Oh, good job, you guys. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I've got an arrow right in the back of my head. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ow. Ow. All right, that's why it is dangerous at night, why I've been sleeping lately. I hear pebbles squeaking at us. But, oh great, why is there another, another werewolf? What? What? I'm getting my silver skeleton sword out just in case. I'm, he's in the fern grotto. I don't want our new guy to get eaten by a werewolf. Oh, 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 oh! Well, we ha we're up to werewolves, guys, so we're gonna have to start that stronghold pretty soon. Alright, so let's head on over. And I'm gonna introduce you guys to the very last new intern of the day. It has been a busy Saturday. Oh my gosh. I spent a lot of time sorting chests and getting everything nice and tidy so that tomorrow we can tackle... Oh, great. No, no, I'm not in the mood. Not right now, Jacob! No, it's... Okay, no. Okay, I'll make you all into baby slimes. Be baby slimes. <gasps> Holy days! Look at all those golems! They're like taking a swimming party. It's a golem swimming party. Ouch! You guys are not supposed to be able to hurt me. You're too... Ouch! Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. It's like a golem swimming party. What is going on? Jacob's night, night uh, nights are getting a little interesting here. Jacob, I want to... Okay, here you go. I've got some uh, some Asper bamboo for you, my good friend. I'm going to trade you. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick some of that up. Thank you very much, Jacob. You guys just stay over there. My goodness. But yes, we're going to continue on. Hopefully not run into any trouble, but I'm keeping my sword out just in case. Hello, beautiful butterfly. Reminding me that we need to make a butterfly house. And yes, guys, we are going to build lots of terrariums for various underground and cave bugs. Because that's that's a lot of what you find in caves. So we're going to be adding those in too. Alright, alright. Safe. Okay, going to my little caves. But I have been doing a lot of work in here. Um... Sort of. <laughs> like you can see where I've started to play with the stalactites and stalagmites and just sort of see what they look like up on the walls and with the carpenter's blocks. Oh my gosh, with the carpenter's blocks, they look amazing. Look at this. Look at this. And I took out all the lamp or all the torches out there, down there, I should say, because I was letting the ore berries grow. So we'll go check and see how their growth is in just a second. This is, whoo, got turned around. This is is where we've got our bamboo rat exhibit. I kind of played with the dirt a little bit to give it some depth. I lifted it up a little bit. Tomorrow we're going to be working in the bamboo rat exhibit and really getting it decorated. Tate, you are not a bamboo rat. You are not a bamboo rat, Tate. <laughs> oh my goodness, here you go, Lily. Have some zombie jerky. How the heck did I get, oh, from the zombie horse. That's how I got zombie jerky. But we're gonna be putting the bamboo rats in here and I caught a lot of rats. I think they're actually downstairs. Yeah, I think I put them in the chest downstairs. I did. So we are going to be uh, putting... Oh, I heard... Oh, no, those were our bats. I was like, I heard a rat. No, those are our bats downstairs. But we're going to be putting the vines down. We're going to be putting logs in and kind of really decking it out and making it look really cool. So I'm excited about that. And then the way Tate probably snuck in there is he smelled. There's this little zookeeping entrance. So you can come in here. It's getting kind of crowded, puppies. And then you can come in here so you can come and do your work in the exhibit. And then you can come back out. Let's see, gotta close the door. Oh, wrong, wrong dirt wall. <laughs> then you can come back out and just close the doors. And I love that because it just gives it sort of a naturalistic little touch. To keep the grass from going away on the side of the wall over there, I used the carpenter's blocks. And it actually turned out really nicely. So I like how it's looking so far. All right, so let's go downstairs and check on the growth of our ore berries. I think it's about time to be able to put, oh good, these guys are growing well. These ones are already ready to harvest. There's a sign, please do not touch the ore berries with some prickles. So you guys know if you touch it, it prickles you. 
But you can see how uh, we used carpenter's blocks. Lily! Oh my gosh, for crying out loud. This way. This way. Teleport to mom right now. Sit. 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 <laughs> sit. Pine. Put your bum down. No, down. Bum down. Bum down. Pine. Sit. Pine. You naughty boy. Sit. What? Sit. Stay. No, stay. <laughs> Clearly, the puppy is still learning. Alright, he's staying. Stay. The puppy is still learning how to do his commands. You are clearly the youngest member, fine. So clearly. But the bats are doing well. Stella, Luna, and Batman. And Dimitri. Yeah, I see one, two, three. So it's really fun to pop over here and check on the bats. The bats are doing great. I can't wait to go Twilight Forest or some of the other caves to hunt down some more bats and add them to our big brown bat exhibit. And we will also be making a bumblebee bat exhibit because I am in love with bumblebee bats. I have a rat, or a, a rat. I have a bat name list if you have any bat names that you want to add in. So this place is looking great. I really like how the vines turned out too because it gave it a lot more depth to this exhibit. It's not just like flat. So that's great. This was going to be the moth exhibit, except uh, something happened, and I'll show you that something in just a second. Let's check on our orberry room. So, nothing spawned in here, thank goodness. Check it out! Check it out! Look at our orberry room! I'm really happy with how it's turning out. There's a couple of them, one right here, and one somewhere else that last time I was checking, because it was really funny. I would have to go pine. You're sitting on stalagmite. That has to hurt, Pine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but last time I was in here, it was just so fun, like, peeking in and seeing how these were doing. And I actually don't like the way we have a big gap over here. So what I might do is add some more ore berries. Even if we can't reach the second layer, it'll still give it that depth and the wave on the ceiling. So I'm excited because pretty soon I'm going to take the torch out. Just ah, There's the other one. Just long enough for these two to grow. Maybe Maybe we'll just leave it in here. But soon we'll be able to add in the tinkers. And so we can have some tinkers in here. They can be running around. We can put furnaces up in the walls. We could do like some sort of cool uh, statue in the center of the room. That might be fun just to show like what you can do with the different ores. Maybe we'll make like a gold statue and just put it in the center. So that would be pretty fun. Um, and I'll deck out the walls, kind of shift things around and decorate it more, maybe make it a little bit bigger as time goes on. But this will be where we can put some of our tinkers so that they can really, um, like share trades and just talk a little bit. Well, they won't talk, but we can have NPCs eventually who talk a little bit about the ore berries. So this might not be our only ore berry room. This is just kind of like one of the main ones to introduce you to what are ore berries. And it's also up on the ceiling, so nobody gets hurt. So I'm really glad with how that worked out. All right, so I'm just going to take these torches out for now. And there we go. Just in case those other two want to continue growing. Because ore berries have to grow in darkness. And let's see. Yeah, I meant to show you guys before the dogs started stepping on these ore berries that we have a beautiful decoration on the bottom right here for the grass. Instead of using the dirt blocks, I put carpet down because this looks a lot nicer it looks more mossy and natural and we'll probably splatter a little bit of a that mossy naturalness on the carpenter slopes on our way up and there's stalactites holding tight to the ceiling up there too and then we've got some stalagmites and stalactites over here and a nice little cave corner i really like how this turned out this is called smacking random carpenter's blocks down till it looks cool <laughs> that's how that method is achieved so there's that and this is a secret uh, little zookeeping room it's got a place for me to chuck all of that awful cobblestone that drives me mad in not my strawberry smoothies though so we've got a little lava spot to throw all of the unwanted junk in there um, we don't really, oh, well I guess this arrow isn't really wanted there you go, burn arrow, burn so we have a spot for that, uh, an anvil. I moved a lot of our supplies while we were doing our caving. Yeah, here they are. There's the three rats that we have. And I have the, the tinker right here who sells the gold or berry bushes. And I have our moonworm queen is snoozing. In fact, I'm gonna move her over here. 
because this chest is where, there you go, Moonworm Queen. All the stalactites, stalagmites, the special ores, the roots, everything we've collected from Twilight Forest, the torch berries, everything decorative for the cave exhibits is in this chest right here. And this is just like more cobblestone and stuff, which I'm like, that's why I finally put some lava down because I'm like, I'm so done with this. But it is now time for me to show you guys. Okay, gotta peek around. A secret place. Stay pine. All right. You ready? This is a secret place. Eventually, we will have exhibits branching off. The cave exhibits are going to be kind of like a maze. They go up, they go down, they're in layers. It's going to be really cool. But we're going to come up here, and this is where another one of our interns happens to hide. And this idea struck me like a thunderbolt from the sky, so I had to do it. Caution! Authorized researchers only. Are you guys ready for this? So we're going to meet one of our first scientists. Hello, researcher Monica. Dun, dun, dun! Check this out. This is researcher Monica's nether research closet. It is the nether research closet because it is very small. It is kind of hard to do proper research in here. And this is her assistant raccoon, Martha. But researcher Monica is really cool. She is actually researching the mystery of pigment. So she's trying to understand pigmen. She's trying to understand the nether. She's trying to really like get to the bottom of what pigmen are, what they're doing in the nether, what the relationship between the two happens to be. So she studies like the nether wart, the nether rock, the lava. She is pretty cool. She's hiding over here. So eventually like, ah, okay, got myself stubbed my toe in the door. Eventually, like, you'll be able to find this path, but it's not going to be a straight path like this. We're going to make it branch around. There'll be exhibits to distract you. There'll be, like, a little corner that you turn around, and you have wiggle between some stalagmites and stalactites and columns. And then somehow, you might find yourself here. So that's pretty fun. So this is researcher Monica, like I said. Researcher's pigmen. If you speak with her, then she will actually trade you nether wart uh, or coins. If you bring her supplies, such as nether wart, if you bring her blaze powder, raw pork chops, because remember, she researches pigmen, and if you bring her fire resistance potions, she's very grateful because her work happens to involve a lot of lava. And then she will also give you coins if you can bring her any pig embryos, because she's doing all sorts of amazing experiments and science goodness here. She also takes the thorns, the blaze rods, the flesh, and the ash blocks that you can find in the nether. So she'll collect all of those things. Uh, she also will take books, good old books. And then she will also trade you for overgrown nether rack. She will trade you for a broken zombie pigment figurine. Pretty expensive, two diamond coins. Or if you happen to have extra lava buckets or molten pig iron buckets. Or if you have um, lots of coins, she'll give you the bane of pig pigs so she'll give you some pretty useful stuff including that lava because it's actually a pain in the butt for me to get a lot of lava though after she set up like this tubing we might try doing this tubing because you can store the lava in there so we might like make a lava storage closet kind of like she has here look at the little embers all bursting out from from these things that's cool we're probably going to decorate with these little like lava panels what are those again they're like chiseled lava blocks Look at how awesome they are. Lava panels. I was right. So we'll probably start decorating with those in the cave systems. Pretty exciting. Hmm. Maybe I need to adjust these lava levels slightly. Oh my. Do you happen to have any hot lava for me? Oh, hello. Seriously. Welcome to the nether closet. At least that's what I call it. My research area isn't very big right now. But yes, and this is, like I said, her assistant Martha, raccoon. And she will also give you a zombie pigment spawner if you really want to spend your coins on that instead of just smacking them with a, smacking some pigs <laughs> with the ancient sword. And then, you guys ready for this? This is a pretty cool, cool surprise that Monica has. We wiggle over here. You ready? You ready? Okay. And stand on top of her bookshelf. Mm -hmm. She's got lots of books. Dun dun. Dun dun. Where could this secret passage lead to? Dun 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 It may or may not lead to Calf's basement where all the pigmen are where Professor Dr. Tur or excuse me, Dr. Turtle MD is Where's and there's Pigman Watson Oh my gosh, Pigman Watson and Pigman Watson There's two of them now Can I keep one? I'm gonna keep one I want to keep a pigment Watson. Can I have my own little pigment Watson? Why? Why does? 
my pigmin fern go away, but pig look, can I have can Oh, I'm gonna have to talk with calf. I'm gonna have to talk with calf. I'm sure he can't babysit two pigmin watsons at the same time. <gasps> they're so cute. But yes, there may or may not be a very secret passage. Dun 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 leading into calf's basement. That he certainly doesn't know about. Dun dun. You saw nothing. <laughs> But researcher Monica is up to some interesting things, and there might be more researchers joining her in the future, too. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. Whoa. But alright, you guys, those are all of the things we have done in the zoo, and holy days, it's been a lot. Lots of, like, the cotton fields, and lots of work here in the caves. Ugh, I need to fill this hole in so bad. Lots of places where we are going to need to expand and add to things. Come on, Pine. You can stand up now. I really don't think a stalagmite is the best place to sit your bum. All right, come on, you guys. All right, it's time to go open the random safari nuts. So let us go and get the random safari nuts. Let's get our single-use safari nuts. And let's open them up. Night actually might be a good time to do that, too, because then we won't be uh, hurting any of the mobs that might uh, burn in the sunlight that might want to pop out. So this will be cool. You guys following me? Good puppies! Oh, I thought that was a creeper. It was just a leaf. I was like, no, Lily, there's a creeper behind you. It was just a leaf. We're good. We're good. All right. But yeah, I have been working a lot at cleaning up the zoo and just trying to get things organized. Naomi, how are you? She's doing good. She's doing good. I love, love, love this rock bridge, by the way. It's awesome. All right, let's keep going. It's just looking really good. The zoo is just looking great, you guys. We've been working so hard and doing so much in it for so long now. <laughs> Alright, then let's get the puppies back up by their food bowl. I need to make them a little... Oops, careful, Pine. You teleported right in front of my hand while I was waving it around. Okay, let's try this again. Sit, stay. Sit, sit. Okay, sitting. You guys are being so silly today. And let's go downstairs. We need to get some random, uh, or some single-use safari nuts for our random safari nuts. Okay. And then, <gasps> I'm so excited that we now have them just ready and sitting in this chest. So we need one. I better keep my, um, sword out just in case. Just in case. Two, three, four, five. And actually, I need to empty... Let's go ahead. Do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot to contain the goats, and I forgot to plant that peppercorn sapling. That's okay. All right. Nope. Come here. Come here, sword. <laughs> I think I better keep the sword just in case. All right. So we'll do one, two, four, like this. And let's go see what's hiding in there. Hopefully something good. Hopefully it won't be just livestock. If it's just livestock and there's any pigs, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get pigmen fern back by smacking them with the uh, the ancient stuff. So let's open this, pop out. All right, I got it a little backwards, but that's okay. Lily Tate, don't worry about mom. Mom's just doing really spooky experiments again. All right, you guys ready? Oh dear. For that. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Let's just pretend, let's see if he notices us or not. He probably will in just a second. All right, what is it? What's oh, a slime? Eh, I'll keep it. I'm okay with that. And what is this? <gasps> what are you? <gasps> you guys, I think it's a squirrel. No, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh my gosh, come back. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a forest squirrel before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never seen one before, and it is so cute. So we have a little forest squirrel. That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Okay, and we've got one, two. Oh, and I need to go get the other one out of the out of the chest, don't I? Okay. So, what's in here? It's a cow. We'll just let the cow wander off. And what's in here? It's a chicken. Well, I guess you can't all be a squirrel. <laughs> All right, so let us go ahead, and we're going to go get the last safari nut. Oh, a squirrel. Oh, I've never seen those before, so that makes me really happy. I've heard you can get little creatures, mobs. So far, we're only ending up with, um, like, livestock and 
Twilight Forest, so we'll have to see. All right, let's check this one. It's a pig. Well, Mr. Pig, um, I hope you heard what I'm going to do to any pigs who popped out of our safari nuts. I bet that like a rare unicorn wasn't the one that the goat ate. I would put money on it. But we're going to wiggle down. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to grab... Let's see. Would it be... Ancient Lazarus. Ha! I need... I think I need to have both these on at the same time. And... So that... My helmet on. I want to see if this pig turns into pigment fern. If not, we can start collecting just plain pigment. Uh, for being guards at the the stronghold, that would be pretty cool. Also, if that if that wolf gets too close to us, that werewolf. All right, you guys ready? Oh, not even a blast of thunder that time. Well, hello. You are not pigment fern because you have a sword. Oh, fudge knuckles. Uh huh. No. Ha. So now we have a werewolf. We have um, a friendly pig zombie. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and we've got a slime, a large slime, and a squirrel! So the squirrel is definitely the most exciting, awesome part of all of that. But oh my goodness, what a day! What a day! You guys have met the new interns, you have seen some of the new work we are doing, and we got a squirrel, which is really the highlight of it all. Is that Calf's house? That is Calf's house. You can just see candles floating in the distance. Woo! So it's been a busy day. I hope you guys have had a wonderful one. I'm really looking forward to the cave exhibits. I love our new little cotton fields. There's lots of projects to get on top of. I want to do something exciting soon. So I think we're going to breed a horse this week, Lily. We're going to work on our, our rat exhibit tomorrow. And then I think we'll pop over to the horse fields. And I'm going to try to figure out how to get like the planter and the harvester working while we breed some horses. So I'm looking forward to that, Lily girl. And I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early for more work here in the zoo. Because there's always so much to do. And I'll see you guys then, okay? Bye-bye.